Hi there. I want to make a video uh, with um, about Fibonacci and the masculine versus feminine. And I will start. I will. I will use my <coughs> simple software on the phone and and show show images from the phone while I while I speak about what, what is what it is about. To start with, what, what is the Fibonacci sequence? Um, Fibonacci. Ah, uh, uh, you can read on uh, on Google, Wikipedia who who Fibonacci was. He realized anyway that there were numbers present in nature that uh, yeah were to f be found in everything. Uh, no, I, I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to to use a pen to to sh to to describe and show. Uh, yeah. So the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, it works like this: when you take. You start with zero and you go up in value and you you lay numbers on top of each other. The two previous numbers makes up the present number and it continues uh, forever. And it's a repeating pattern that I will discuss. I'm not a mathematician. So I, I, I was actually not interested in numbers at all, but I, in recent year maybe I started to look at it. Ah, some years I looked some at it. Never mind. If you take zero and one at first, let's say there is a zero here also. Zero, zero and one is one. So zero and one will make one. So that's why this number becomes one. And if you continue, you take one and one, and it becomes two. Yes. And one and two becomes three. Two and three becomes five. Three and five becomes eight. Eight and five is 13, which reduced is four. Yeah, and it continues like this. 8 and and 13 is 21 or 8 and 12 8 and 4 is 12 so this number is this number here is 3 yeah this is the way it works the fibonacci sequence so yeah everything in nature plants they they work with this sequence, petals in in flower, seashells, galaxies, pine cones, sequence of numbers starting with zero and one. Yeah, this is what I described. And you have the golden mean. Uh, the golden mean is this number. Sorry. It is this number here, 1.618, that is phi. Phi is also a Greek word for physical, while psi is the psychical. So phi is the outer dimension, psi is the inner dimension. Yeah, Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, here is another image of it. I saved a lot of other images to 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 speak about in the same context. Yeah, everything goes in a spiraling pattern. There are also interesting details with Fibonacci on the piano. You have uh, 13 keys. Now you have 
let's see what he says here. You have eight whole tones and you have five half tones. And that is uh, 13, but the 13th is an octave. That is one octa is octave. Uh, that is one step up. Uh, it is one one step up. Uh, here you have uh, the octave or oct eight octa. It means it's the same tone. So do re mi fa sola becomes do again here. And the moon has thirteen cycles in a year. So I would say do is the moon, but in in our patriar patriarchal Western culture, Domini, Domini Padre, that is our Father in Heaven. Uh, I think that Father in Heaven is actually Saturn, and the Satan is still terrified of the number thirteen. Because it's divine feminine. Yeah. Uh, what I wanted to speak about actually. I, I wanted to speak about this image here. This one. Which is. Fibonacci numbers. Uh, laid on top of each other. And. Um, they make up the two pillars of the Freemasonic teachings. And uh, the, two, the two pillars are all, all, all over, and they are based on a Fibonacci sequence on this image here. Um, so I wanted to describe, here is, as it's described, the masculine yang, which is strength, then that is the hard, the masculine is the hard, it's competing energy. That is jakin. Jakin and Boas is the name of the two Freemasonic pillars. So Jakin is the strong, Boas is the beautiful. So it's the beauty and the beast or the masculine and the feminine. And here we see again the Fibonacci sequence. Let's say that we start with zero here. Zero and one becomes one. One and one becomes two. One and two becomes three. Two and three becomes five. 3 and 5, 8, 8 and 5, 13, which is 4, 4 and four and 8 is 12, which becomes 3 reduced. In, in numerology, you only use one number, so you add, if there are two numbers, you add them together, unless it's the number 11 and 22, they are called master numbers. Yeah, so 4 and 3 is 7, 7 and 3 is 10. You only want one number, so it becomes one. Seven and one is eight. Eight and one is nine. Nine means new, by the way. So first, when you have, when you have put, let's see, one, two, three, three times three, nine, plus the three, 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 nine. That is three. That is twelve numbers. Twelve numbers put on top of each other you get the the masonic pillar of jakin the masculine strong energy and uh, if you sum up the numbers you get the number 52 which reduced is 7 seven seventh letter of the alphabet is g and g stands for gas if you look at the, the states of matter, the, the, the different kind of uh, yeah, matter can, can be fluid, it can be solid, it can be gas, and it can be plasma. Those different states are symbolized with letters. So gas is G, and G is the strong. That's why the, the Masonic and the... Uh, the full Western culture is a patriarchal. It's a patriarchal culture. So they they have made an, an oath to G, to the masculine energy. 
that is gas, that is air, and air is left brain hemisphere, that is the mind, that is the linear thinking, it's logical and linear. Yeah, and the number 52 is a decagonal number. It belongs to, to decagonal numbers. And I haven't studied this deeper, but I've uh, I've read about it, and it, it is accurate. This is how it is. Number 52 is a decagonal number. So the base is 10 for the numbers in the pillar of Jackin. Say 10. 10 is also tensed. The masculine is tensed. He has an he has an inner tension. It's, that's why his strength is strong. Because of this inner tension. Uh, and that is also that is also AC. If you look in the zodiac, I have I have spoken about this previously. AC in the zodiac is the ascendant. That is a strong power. That is masculine. Uh, the first the first impulse of energy in the zodiac is the sign of Aries, the newborn sun that is born on the vernal equinox. And he is an explosion of energy. He, and AC, by the way, is also Antichrist. And as I said, this is a decagonal number. This is Deca. Say, say 10. Deca is decay. Deca is 10 in Greek. Yeah, and if we continue. So, let's see. 3, 3 and 9. Here is 9, it means new, so we make a new pillar after we reach the number 9. 9 is the 12th number, and now we will make a new pillar. 369, by the way, Tesla said that if you, if you know the numbers 369, 369, you know the, the key to the universe. There are two separate systems where 369 doesn't blend with the other numbers. And as it says here... That is also the cell growth. Uh, all cells in nature, they, they replicate. So they double all the time. One becomes two. One and one becomes two. Like, uh, like uh, speak about one cell, one celled animals, like an amoeba. It, it, it replicates itself. So one divided becomes two. And if you divide further, 2 and 2 becomes 4. 4 and 4 becomes 8. 8 and 8 becomes 16. And reduced, that is 7. Yeah, and so further on. 7 and 7 is 14. 14 is 5 reduced. So these numbers never meet. 369 is a separate system. They, don't, they never meet with the... So this is, you can say that this is the physical, this is the phi. And the 369 is the inside. They never meet with the outside. There are two different systems. The inside, the inside belongs to, to this pillar. This pillar is the feminine. And the outside, oh, excuse me, uh, oh, I speak Romanian. I'm in, I'm in Romania, by the way. The, this pillar is the strong one. That is the outside. While this pillar here is the beautiful one. That is the inside. The inside is flow. And the, out, the outside is control. The inside is the creator. While the outside is the created. Adam was the first created. Yeah, he was... But before the first created was the source. So Eve is even numbers. She is the source. While Adam, odd M, he is, he is odd numbers. That's why he's active. Because he's active, he is strong. He's, he constantly divides. While the feminine unites. She absorbs, she's magnetic. Yeah. So if we continue, we take 8 and 9, it becomes 17, and reduced 17 is 8. 8 and 9, 
again is 8. And 8, 8 and 8 is 16, that is 7 reduced. 7 and 8 is 15, that is 6 reduced. Yeah, you follow. I don't need to go through all the steps. Uh, and here you saw on the masculine on the masculine pillar, you had threes until you reached the, the twelfth number that is new, the nine. Uh, so threes are, as I said, they are odd numbers. This is odd m, Adam. So because he is an odd number. He is not balanced. That's why he's active. He's constantly fighting or he's constantly fighting the other guys because he is a sperm cell and the feminine is the egg. She's passive receptive. The masculine is active and competing. He's the strong while she is the beautiful. And we live in a patriarchal society where we are all engineered to be left brain biased. That is to fight each other, to be competitive, to be strong. But we always exhaust ourselves and, and, and compete till absurdity. Because air says there can be only one, like Highlander. So, yeah, never mind. So you see that the feminine numbers adds up to six, six and nine. And... Uh, yeah, the number of the beast is 666. We should remove the new. We should remove the 9 as I see it to become 666 instead of 669. Divine feminine should be destroyed. The fe I, they're on, on their good way to destroy the feminine because they, they worked on this for 2000 years something. Uh, never mind. Yeah, you see also that here you have the four, eight, seven in these numbers in the physical. Four, eight, seven here. You have those numbers for the physical, the physical part of the masculine. And here five, one, and two are feminine numbers of the of the physical, of the fee world. And the inner of the feminine is six, six. And nine, that is the spirit, or say soul or spirit. I speak about the inside. And yeah, feminine, yin, beauty, as you see on the top here. And if you summarize the numbers, the 12 numbers in the more complex pillar, these are the higher numbers in the Fibonacci sequence. If you summarize these numbers, they become 65. And 65 together becomes 11. If you reduce it, they become 11. Uh, you can reduce it further to become 2 also. Because, but, but 11 is the master number. So 11 means also L even. L is the Lord. That is the name of the God. So, and the 11th side of the zodiac is Aquarius. Ruled by Uranus. So, 10th tenth, tenth sign, if you look at the hard, the masculine, that is the, the surface. Uh, it is ruled by, by Saturn, by Satan in, in the zodiac. He's the 10th tenth, the tenth, uh, uh, sign in the zodiac that is uh, Capricorn. And Capri means goat, corn is seed. So is the goat seeds. So this is the male masculine energy is the evil guy in the world. And I would say that Satan is the collective energy from all masculine energy in the world. Saturn is Satan and that is the ego. He rules the egos. As you can see in this. Um, so 7-11 is the divine number when S even and L even. So S even means solid even. Solid is uh, the S is the 19th number in the alphabet and that, that uh, 
refers to solid, um, the state of matter, solid state of matter, which is which is earth element. So seven means solid even. When the outside is in balance, it's in its peak. And you have L even is when the feminine energy is balanced at its peak. So 711 is the date when the creation has reached its peak. And uh, the date 911, it was actually 711 because September is not the ninth month uh, astrologically and if also if you look in old uh, calendars uh, uh, septa means seven. I forgot to say almost that um, that the sum of the feminine numbers on the Boas uh, sorry yeah this is the Boas pillar the sum of the numbers of the Boas pillar is 65 and 65 is an octagonal number octagonal means it has a base of 8 octagonal numbers have a base of 8 so the feminine energy to its core is octa. Octa is death in uh, octa is death in uh, astrology. The eighth sign is Scorpio. Scorpio is uh, fixed water, and that is the the peak of uh, the water energy, the strongest strongest water. And water is emotions. So the feminine is the feminine is emotions and death, life, death and transformation, ruled by Pluto. And Pluto is, uh, Pluto is also Hades, uh, kingdom of death, and the bird of Phoenix, the firebird, who resurrects and rises from the ashes. Yeah, so since the strong is tensed, and the feminine is harmony, balance. She's even, even numbers. So six is even. And here is new. So the new goes back to here. Or the masculine, the masculine here and the feminine here creates the sun, the sun. Yeah. And the masculine energy is seven for gas, as I said. Gas G, the G oath, the oath to follow G for gnosis or geometry and other are numerous. There is a deity called God instead of God. There are numerous uh, references to the to the letter G, but G air logics left brain hemisphere the ego mind he says that he is reality. So I don't think it's a coincidence that the word gaslighting it's called when you. When you use a method to, to, to make someone crazy. Yeah, and um, the Jackin pillar, the strong, the young energy is, uh, this is the day. So this is daytime, while the feminine is the black, it's the dark, it's the night. So... So the day seems light, but it's not. Saturn is not light, he's dense, he's tense, he's decay, deka. And uh, yeah, he's usually described as red color also. Red is, is rot in German, and uh, decay is also rotten. Could it be root 10? That is decagonal. Yeah, I say so. It would be. And uh, he is gaslighting. 
G for guess, the goat, the strong, G, oath. While the feminine, who is 11, that is L, even. She is flow, she is liquid. She is the beautiful, she is osmos, cosmos, the word becomes C, osmos, the function of, of, of liquids finding its balance. So the true balance is nat in nature, is in fluids, it is in emotions, it is in water, it is not in air, it is not in logics. The word gas is etymolo etymologically connect connected to the word chaos. So the masculine energy creates chaos. While the divine feminine is the order in the universe. That is the true, the true beautiful. The true beauty in, in universe is, is in emotions, in feelings. So the masculine here is the surface. Surfaces, he is the hard, and Uranus rules the eleventh sign. Eleven. Uranus has got his name from urinate in Greek, o Uranus. So, it's quite obvious that Uranus is the true ruler, and Saturn is Satan. He is the fake light, the gaslighting, the psychopath, the hard. I wanted to show you also the Egyptian images of Ra. He is a falcon with a snake who has swallowed the sun on top of his head. So the word solid for earth element. The word sol means sun. Sol in Swedish sol is sun. So sun ID, soul ID, solid means the sun identity and the, the, the letter, the symbol for solid is S and S is the 19th letter while 11, 7, 11, 11, 7 becomes 18 and S is the 19th letter, S is the serpent, he says S he hiss and he says the crown is his he speaks about satan satan's crown the crown serpent so yeah you can you can understand that solid satan rules capricorn capricorn is an earth element earth is the the state of matter of solid sun identity and the serpent has taken on the sun identity by swallowing the sun, the fire. He says that he is fire. He is gaslighting. That is the false light. It is written in the Bible. Yeah, thank you for listening. I, I, I think you get the point.